let's travel back. This was in 2017. This was my first trip for YouTube. Still wasn't sure how I was going to make these travel videos. That's why you see pictures in the beginning. Check-in for the room was around 12 p.m. We landed in Delhi at 9 a.m. So we had few hours. Went to this beautiful temple first. It was a beautiful place with lots to see. I was a little surprised they allowed pictures though. Most Indian temples don't allow it. That's why I haven't made videos of them. We took the same taxi to a couple of places. That way we could keep our backpacks in the car. Because this was in July, the weather was really hot. So we didn't spend a lot of time at each place. Then went to Qutub Minar. Kind of amazing. After all these years, it's still standing. Got some really nice pictures of it. Then went to the Lotus Temple, quite popular with many tourists and uh, quite a beautiful building too. After that it was time to check into the hotel. I only started the video recording after I entered the room. That's how now also I was about doing the whole thing. I was pretty blown away by how beautiful the room and the hotel was. I took my nephew on this trip. I kept it a secret that we were going to a luxury hotel. So it was fun to see his reaction. The washroom was really huge. I wanted to make video about everything there. That's why you see so many close-ups. I forgot to make the video of the TV. Took all those toiletries home. I was still figuring out what to shoot. That's why you see all the closets. It really was a beautiful hotel. It's still in top 5. After visiting 50 hotels, finish those apples and those cookies. They also had one of the best mini fridges. It also had some amazing views of Delhi. It was quite hard to get a picture of the building because it was covered with trees everywhere. All the Leela hotels have amazing flower decorations. The rooftop pool was quite amazing. We didn't bring swimming trunks, so I had to buy them at the hotel. Plan was to go out in the evening and see the India Gate. The hotel was really comfortable, so we just stayed in. At night, we ate at this beautiful Japanese restaurant. This was inside the hotel. Food was a bit expensive, but it was really delicious. I wasn't making food videos then. That's why I didn't make any videos of that. Morning, they had a brilliant breakfast. After 50 hotels, I think they still have one of the best layouts for a buffet. And it was really lavish. After the buffet, 
we left the hotel. I very rarely take a taxi from the hotel because it's quite expensive. I always book the Uber. I usually go on to the road to get the Uber. All these hotels have heavy security. It takes a while to get through them. So it's easier to get to the car from the road. The India Gate was really beautiful with its gardens and uh, amazing structure. We took a auto to get close to the Indian Parliament. Once I reached there, I found out they offer Segway tours, but you have to book them quite far in advance. We didn't stay long here, just stay auto ride. It took less than 15 minutes or so. This is where the armed force memorials are too. It was nice to see them in person. After this, we went to a science park. There were some amazing structures which were used to watch the space, like stars and moon. That was quite interesting. This tour took around 20 minutes or so. Then we went to the Gandhi Ghat. You just walk around and uh, pay your respect. This is where I made the eucalyptus tree video. They had some really huge eucalyptus trees. After that, we went to the Red Fort and uh, looked at this interesting fort. Then went to the room and checked out. Before leaving Delhi, we went to this one last place. This was another tomb of the better preserved structures we saw. That ended the one day tour of Delhi. Then we went to Agra. More on that in the next video. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at these snacks. These are from Postcard. Discover local flavors. This is Jamnagar Chivda. Crunchy treat with rich dry fruits. Jamnagar is a place in Gujarat, India. And this is their local snack from Gujarat with love. This is such a brilliant idea. There are so many amazing local snacks like these. Now Postcard is bringing them to you. Really nice packaging too. You get a local monument from the place. Okay now, it's a vegetarian snack. I took a boat ride at Lakota Talao watching the migratory birds that frequent the lake every year. As soon as we hit the banks, I heard the cries of the Fairy owners. I tried the local favorite called Jamnagar Chivda, a crunchy, savory mixture of crisp wheat flakes and dry fruits. Here is a little taste of my trip to you. Ingredients are wheat flakes, palm oil, cashew, raisins, black grapes, sugar, dry mango powder, salt, and a curry leaf. Manufactured in a Jamnagar. Gujarat. They are even manufacturing these locally, which is really nice to see. This has around 600 calories or so. Costs around uh, 85 rupees or a dollar or so. So let's taste this. You can see the wheat flakes, curry leaf and uh, raisins. Let's taste it. That's nice and crunchy. It has a sweet and salty flavor. Beautifully seasoned and the raisins give it a really nice texture. Such an amazing snack. 
so simple but so flavorful quite nice check it out let's take a look at this hot wheels car this is peanuts hot wheels hot wheels screen time series this is the ninth one looks quite interesting costs around uh, 120 rupees or uh, two dollars or so manufactured in uh, malaysia let's take a closer look That's how it looks. So what's on the packaging? I think the character could have been a bit more detailed. The car looks quite nice. Who knew there was such a powerful hot rod under a dog home? A really cute, fun Hot Wheels. It moves quite well too, quite nice, check it out. Let's take a look at these P-Pops, amazing packaging, that's the reason I bought these. These are by the Healthy Craving Co, Char Grill Spice. You can see a tiny guy pushing the P. 100% natural, slow roasted, no added sugar, low sodium, vegetarian. Costs around 30 rupees or 50 cents or so. Manufactured in Mumbai, Maharashtra, India. Vegan, gluten free cholesterol free, zero trans fat, low in calories, homegrown. Ingredients are green peas, rice, oats, green chili powder, cumin powder, cardamom, black pepper, cinnamon, bay leaf, clove, kasuri methi, garlic powder, tomato powder, lemon powder, dried oregano, dried rosemary, dried thyme, rice brain oil, salt, natural and natural identical flavors so let's taste these that's how the snack looks I'm a little surprised they didn't go with the green color of the pea so let's taste it that's really well seasoned quite spicy nice grill flavor really delicious this is the lime and chili one beautiful graphics similarly priced lot few ingredients so let's try the lime and chili you get about half pack which is quite decent That's how it looks. You get a nice lime and chili flavor. That's definitely an acquired taste. But this is really good. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this dusting powder. This is by Forest Essentials. Luxurious Ayurveda. This is Indian Rose Absolute. Simple packaging. Looks quite nice. This is a 100 gram bottle. This unique cornstarch based dusting powder has added cocoa butter to keep the skin soft and smooth. Well being naturally absorbent. Use after bath for fresh, lightly fragrant skin. Ingredients are cornstarch, arrowroot powder, cocoa butter, oatmeal powder, olive oil, 
rose essential oil 100% natural costs around 695 rupees or a $9 or so manufactured in Haridwar Uttarakhand India so let's smell it that's silky smooth that smells absolutely like a rose that's so fragrant and uh, nice love that it's 100% natural amazing fragrance beautiful packaging quite nice check it out let's take a look at these waffle chips these are by waffle mill light and crunchy waffle bites that's how they look this is the milk choco drizzle nice packaging ingredients are a milk choco drizzle edible vegetable fat milk solids cocoa solids emulsifier refined wheat flour sugar sunflower oil corn starch milk solids add as salt baking powder emulsifiers and stabilizers there are two servings in this pack each serving is about 158 calories costs around 120 rupees or a two dollars or so these are manufactured in mumbai maharashtra india so let's taste these that's how it looks let's taste it you get that nice caramelly waffle flavor it's nice and crunchy and the milk chocolate drizzle gives it a really nice flavor and has a nice smooth texture to it quite tasty and sweet chips quite nice check it out let's take a look at this body spray this is fresh man classic by helium quite a minimal design day long odor protection long lasting freshness and a fresh masculine scent skin tolerance dermatologically proved manufactured in thane maharashtra india this is by helium quite a interesting logo to cost around 395 rupees or 5 dollars or so so let's smell it that is a nice fresh fragrance lemony citrusy kind of smell quite a strong fragrance to nice body spray beautiful packaging quite nice check it out let's take a look at this juice this is from lilt this has pineapple and grapefruit totally tropical taste costs around 175 rupees or 2 dollars or so it's from uk that's why you see the 65p sparkling pineapple and grape fruit soft drink with sugar and sweetness ingredients are carbonated water fruit juices from concentrate pineapple grape fruit sugar citric acid antioxidants sweetness preservatives stabilizers this is made by coca cola european partners in great britain this has around 66 calories looks interesting so let's taste it
nice tropical color let's taste it that's really sour not too sweet nicely carbonated nice mix of pineapple and grapefruit if you like sour drinks you will really love this quite nice check it out